Hey guys, welcome to another video and we are talking about the POCO X2 today. This is a custom ROM resurrection remix is what we are talking about. The version is 8.6.6 and 6th February 2021 is what the build date is. Now in this particular video, we are going to sort of look at the quick preview of this particular ROM and I'm going to share my impressions of S2, you know, how good or bad this particular update has been, you know, what has been the gaming experience and can you actually go ahead and use this or can I recommend this as a, you know a daily driver or not and a few other things which will help you clarify your doubts about this particular custom ROM for the POCO X2. Now as you can see over here in POCO X2 updates every now and then we are getting a lot of you know different ROMs and stuff. So I'm going to try all of them one by one. You do see that in the change log it says sync with Resurrection Remix sources 8.6.6, .6, switch to Sigma kernel, other device side changes, this, that. So this is a G apps build and I've not experienced any lags, but nonetheless, let's get going with the preview if you will and let's see what all we find out but before we get into that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to my telegram community my instagram facebook and twitter you can follow us on any of them telegram is a lot of fun so i would recommend you joining us there and last but not the least if you haven't already please click on the join button to support the channel and get exclusive videos now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get going <laughs> So right off the bat, the first thing that you look at any particular ROM when you, you know, boot is the home screen. Now, this as always is pretty, pretty standard. You have the basic launcher, you have your weather and time on date widget at the top. To the left, you have the Google Discover feed. Very, very common stuff at the bottom. You do have the full screen uh, gestures. And if we actually move on to the launcher settings over here, you will get miscellaneous, allow home screen rotation, all those options along with hide and protect apps is present. You can customize the app drawer home screen. So, you know, not much customization there when it comes to the launcher per se, but it has worked pretty fine for me. There's not much that I found that, you know, would be missing and stuff. Now, moving on, we can talk about the quick settings over here. So you do see it does have quite a lot of options. Now, this has been the story for Resurrection Remix irrespective of the device that I use. And if I were to go through each and every option one by one, probably it'll take another 15 minutes just to explain the, you know, app tiles or notification tiles. But you do have quite a lot of, uh, you know, useful options over here. Like you do have uh, the always on display, you do have music shortcut, you do have the weather shortcut, dark theme, FPS info, you do see that my FPS info is enabled over there, you do have configuration settings and stuff. So the notification tiles is doing a great job and the app drawer and everything works as expected. Now as you can see over here, the app animations and all are pretty beautiful. You don't really have a lot of problem. Now as far as problems are concerned for this particular ROM for the POCO X2, I will talk about it towards the end of the video. First, let's actually go to settings, have a look at the build number and all the information that is very important for us. So where is settings over here? There it is. Now, if you go to about and if you click on the Android version, you will see that this is Resurrection Remix 8.6.6. It is official. Unfortunately, we don't have the February security patch. We should get that real, real soon. And this is a different kernel that you're using and the code name of this particular device is Phoenix or for Indians it is Phoenix in irrespective for custom ROMs it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Now moving on you talk about settings you talk about the experience now the first thing that I look at when I boot is what camera does it come up with now that's where the beauty is this definitely comes with ANX camera now there is some sort of lag not amazing sort of clarity. Maybe I'm saying that because I'm used to the K20 Pro, but I can tell you this is a big, big plus because ANX camera out of the box works absolutely fine on this particular ROM. And the ROM as a whole in daily usage has been working fine, you know, HD playback on web series and stuff has been working fine for me. I've not had any issues with the banking applications and stuff. I've installed all the app, apps that I use in a day-to-day -day basis. 
So if ANX camera is pre-supplied with the ROM, I'm very, very happy about it because that makes your life that much easier. Now, when you talk about the other aspect of a custom ROM, you talk about customization because in basic features like Wi-Fi calling, video calling, everything is working as expected. I've not had any issues with Bluetooth, but if you go to resurrection tools, well, what do I say? Resurrection Remix is one of the most one of, if not the most one of the most customizable roms now you can do a ton of things over here and as i said earlier with with a rom that has these many options if i were to go ahead and review each and every option it will probably be a two hour long video which i don't really want to do but uh, yeah maybe in the future if i think this rom is you know worth the effort maybe i'll make a full review based on the five point rom review system and other things but for now in the customization menu you do have a lot of options and there is a ton of customization that you can do so you do have the display where you have the usual you know stuff that you would need adaptive brightness live display this that everything is present you've got it covered in privacy face unlock and fingerprint works absolutely fast i can show you here as you can see that was your fingerprint scanner and that's your face unlock so you know the face unlock the fingerprint scanner and everything else are working fine i've not really had any issues with the performance uh, in fact the performance of course because this is a custom rom it has been better compared to the stock rom let's have a look at a few performance numbers for that matter now when you talk about n22 remember this device does come with a snapdragon 730 so almost 280000 over there or 280000 in 3d mark if we go to my device over here we did score 741 which is considerably less but yeah not bad bad you can actually live with it so if you go to history over here this is the run we had the single go performance of uh, snapdragon 730 is pretty decent is what i would say and uh, apart from you know sometimes having issues with the full screen gestures i've not really had any major major issues the games work fine and i will try my best to make a dedicated gaming review for this particular rom as well we will be doing a live stream with this particular rom while we game pubg and you know chat with you and have a lot of fun now let me know in the comment section what did you miss in this initial impressions you know i mean as far as the battery life is concerned i'm using it for the last two days the battery life has been decent just like any other custom rom on the poco x2 and the charging for example, the fast charging works fine as well. So, you know, to sum it up, you can definitely use it as a daily driver and I would highly recommend you to give it a try if you're on stock ROM or something like that. All in all, this is a brilliant ROM. Wait for the gaming review, wait for the live stream and stay subscribed to the channel. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.